Welcome back to Good Day Atlanta. Time is 914 now. The ninth annual Atlanta Food and Wine Festival kicks off in just a few weeks. Think of it as like a weekend long southern food extravaganza. Your opportunity to taste the best food and drinks available. Festival co-founder Elizabeth Feichter and chef Parnas Savong of Talat Market are here to tell us more about it. Welcome to Good Day. Thank you. Hey, Thanks. glad y'all are here. It smells so good in here. Yeah. So good. You're responsible for that. Yeah, I made it last night and I knew it was going to be great. So. <laughs> it smells good. We're going to get to the to the recipe here in just a little bit. But Elizabeth, I want to talk about the festival. Obviously yeah. a big deal every year, especially this year. It's moving locations. It is. It is. It's our first year at Old Fourth Ward. I think it's one of the things we try to mix up the festival and keep things fresh and exciting. So we are excited to take the tasting tents into Old Fourth Ward Park and uh, we'll see what happens. It's going to yeah. be a good weekend. Yeah, it's going to be fun. And it's it's a good problem that you ran into at Piedmont, right? You just kind of ran out of space. We did. We kind of yeah. outgrew the space. We love Piedmont Park. It's one of our favorite places in the city. Um, but yeah, we kind of needed to expand and see what else we could find. It's a good problem. And I know Talat Market will be there, but there's like a, a 120, something like that. Chefs, restaurants, wine, beer and spirits producers. I mean, this is like a who's who. It is. It seems. Yeah, nine years in a row. We bring the best of the southern chefs and uh, beverage experts to town, and we just have a really great weekend. It sounds, but how does the whole experience work for those that have never had a chance to so attend. you can experience Atlanta food in a variety of ways. We have a kickoff party on Thursday evening called Destination Delicious, and then we go into three days of learning experiences, our classes in the Lowe's Hotel. We have a Friday lunch session that Pranas will be in called mm -hmm. Summer Sizzle. Um, and then we have our tasting tents in the afternoon. So Friday evening from 7.30 to 10.30, Saturday from 6 to 9, and Sunday from 1.30 to 4.30. So there's tons of different ways mm -hmm. you can experience Atlanta Something for everyone. Something yeah. for everyone. So again, you're going to be there, Parnas. I'll be there. Are you going to be making what you have today or something different? I am. This is just an easier way to uh, make it at home. Okay. But once we are at there, over there, we'll... Take we'll it up a, a notch, right? Take it, turn it up. <laughs> turn it up. So right. what's it called? What are you making? So this is um, this the Saitwa Sabun Pai. This is our northern style Thai uh, ray curry sausage. Okay. And yeah, this is the first uh, dish I've ever made for my pop up, and that's why I'm bringing it to uh, the the summer season sizzle. Yes. Summer sizzle. Summer, summer sizzle. Because yeah. yeah. that Make pop up is turning into a brick and mortar restaurant because it was so successful. So right. that's saying something. It's delicious. Yeah, it really is. Okay, so walk us through. What do we right. need to do? So to we, cook? we're gonna make a red curry paste first. Mm -hmm. So we gotta put some shallots in there. We gotta put some lemongrass. Okay. Some garlic, <laughs> some galango. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. You don't think uh, red but the curry little bowls make it so much better. Right, right. And yeah, we got that's some true. Some cilantro <laughs> stem, turmeric, and some chilies. And then pound, 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 add some okay. salt, blah, blah, blah. Magic. Ah, Magic. that's how it turns out, huh? It looks like a simple ingredient, but there's a lot. Okay. Okay, next we put our sausage meat into the bowl. Mm -hmm. Boom. Put some thin soy sauce, fish sauce. Okay. Uh, some salt, sugar, um, and then black pepper. Yeah, and this good. morning I made some uh, fresh coconut milk. Just two ounces just for this. Okay. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and we just mix it up. Busy morning. Yeah, it has a busy morning. Yeah. And like then we got like, oh. a little beautiful um, farce here. Just so some nice. meat with all that. It looks like chorizo, some people say. Yeah, it really does. Uh, and then yes. you have this uh, saute pan. Just kind of dip it in there. In. Okay. Drop it in there. Well, you know, until it's like golden brown on both sides and it feels not smushy. About how long does that usually <laughs> take to get that smushiness out? Well, this one would probably take around two to three minutes. Okay, so it's pretty quick. Pretty quick. Yeah, you don't want to walk too far away. And we got a recipe somewhere on the website. Yes, this, so. yes, you've got us covered when it comes to that, because I'm already looking at this going, okay, I'm trying to remember all the, the ingredients that we had. I mean, there's quite a bit that goes into this, so we've got you covered with that on the website. Okay, so once we go from this stage, you said right. this is two to three minutes. So this is two to three minutes. Mm -hmm. You just kind of like, um, you know, open a beer. <laughs> uh, and then you just kind of watch. Maybe exactly. not at 9 in the morning. Hey, <laughs> no judgment. It doesn't matter. It's 5 o'clock anywhere. No the morning beer. Right, exactly. Right, right. <laughs> okay, and then you just like flip it and yeah. Very cool. Okay, so then we go from that and we have our and the final finished product. product. Here we are. That looks delicious. Oh, that looks so, awesome. so good. Yes. Um, so, you know, we're the lot market we're doing like uh, Thai traditional food. Mm -hmm with uh, local ingredients. Nice. And that's what we have here. We're not too fancy. Okay. Um, 
Well, yeah. It looks good. It looks good. And this is what's so cool about this, too, Elizabeth. Is this gives you the chance to get up close and personal with chefs yeah. who are doing big things in Atlanta and making it happen, right? Yeah, that's one of my favorite parts is that, like, we get this kind of interaction. We wanted to create something where you really had a chance to be intimate and personal with chefs yeah. and interact and talk and learn about, like, their favorite things and what they want to cook and things sure. like that. So Tickets still available? Too. Still available. Go to the okay. website now. Okay, so this was, like, your practice run then before... The Atlanta Food right. Wine Festival. This is so. for two people. <laughs> uh, Atlanta Food and Wine is to be for 500 people. Exactly. So you did a good practice. job. Give me five. I'm Thank proud. You. you did Thank an awesome you. job. So if you'd like today's recipe or more on the Atlanta Food and Wine Festival, you can go to fox5atlanta.com and look for the viewer information story. Again, this is happening May 30th, correct? May 30th through June 2nd. May 30th through June 2nd. All right, you heard it here first. Time is 920.